Ladies and gentlemen, um, old Fallout Boy has come storming back. Um, now I get that these songs were written 10 years ago in 2008, right before their fourth studio album, uh, Fully Ado, came out, and right before their hiatus, but these songs were redone this year. Just going to show you that Fallout Boy still has it, they can still go back to their old sound, and holy shit, we get this surprise EP, the Lake Effect Kid EP, which was originally apparently supposed to be released in 2008, and because this year they are headlining a tour at Chicago Cubs Field, Wrigley Field, and they're going back home for the first time in a while, and it's their first ever headline in a major stadium, uh, this is kind of just a um, tribute to Chicago. I mean, Lake Effect Kid just goes to tell you it's the city I live in, City of Gardens, and even Super Fade. Even though I will say Super Fade's the odd one of these three songs, because uh, Super Fade sounds like something that they would do now off of, you know, their past three albums. Whereas Lake Effect Kid and City in a Garden, you wouldn't probably necessarily hear them off their first three albums, but it definitely sounds like something they did off of Fully Ado. They're high intensity, you get the great vocals by Patrick Stump, but like I said, not really pop punk, just kind of more that alternative rock feel because it sounds more like something off of Fully Ado, which at the time, like I said, they were changing their sound for that album a little bit. So that's probably where that came from. And like I said, Super Fade. Super Fade, I think they may have recorded, because if they were doing that back in 2008, people would have definitely freaked out with the sound of that. But, you know, nowadays, it's kind of like, you know, they've done it before. That's probably my least favorite on this EP, but it still is really good. I can give it the benefit of the doubt. So, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 this is going to be a short review, because this is basically like Mike Shinoda's post-traumatic EP. It's three tracks. 10 minutes long there I, I just I, I didn't know this came out till I woke up and listened to the the tracks twice each and was like was like wow where has this fallout boy been for years not saying I don't like anything they've done since the hiatus I had like two of their three albums and I think they still make some pretty decent singles but you know I've been waiting to hear stuff like this from fallout boy for a while maybe not 10 years because I think in 2009 they released that um little like demos thing of them just playing like these quick punk songs so but yeah it's hard hitting it's heavy and it's a great tribute to the place where they grew up in I did not make that intentional it's just how I said it so yeah with EPs I'm not gonna rank them out of 10 just because most EPs are usually shorter than albums so I'm going to rate this out of 5, and if I had to give it a rating, it'd be a solid 4.5 out of 5. I mean, I, like I said, I love the first two songs. The third song is like, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. And that's why I think 4.5 out of 5 is a strong rating. So, yeah, Fall Out Boy, they're back. They're storming back. I don't know what this means. Maybe they just released it for this purpose of the tour, probably. But, um, yeah, who knows? I, uh... I loved it, and it was just glad to hear something that resembled the old. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe, if you're on Facebook, share, and I'll catch you guys next time.